Spin, 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 spin me. How you doing? Uh, oh, jeez, I went around a bit too many times that time. This is my daily vlog. I do this every day. I talk about random stuff. And this is my beard, and my beard is uh, growing for 181 days based on how many people died in the Christchurch earthquake. So link down below so you can donate, and I'd appreciate that. Um, my topic of today is um, the Yahoo in the Israeli um, prime ministerial seat. Um, Neman Yahoo. I think they say, say his name properly anyway. And um, just all this talk that's been going on about the 1967 borders in Israel. Um, that uh, Obama decided to um, say, hey, that's what we need. And uh, how he went in there with a good, strong, we're going to do this. And then, they had, then it turned into a, like, no, that's not what we're going to do. For starters, another country should never tell another country what to do. So this is just stupid in that behalf. Uh, two, um, the stance that uh, the Yahoo is making um, just interests me. Um, he is hardcore, don't care about people stance. Um, let's just forget religion in this stance here, and let's just go by what people are. You know, if, if someone's going to be wanting their freedoms, which this country of Israel is going against these other people that live in the area and say, hey, we're going to put you over here and put you over here, and when you're there, it's your land, but you're not actually allowed to do anything in your land as such because we view you as a horrible people. You always come over here and throw your sticks and stones at us, and that's not cool, so we're going to throw a bomb at you and just, just randomly throw it at someone that I think is not a good person. So, you know, we've been seeing that for years. Um, and the whole 67 borders... The fact that, you know, they they stole, it's as simple as that, they took land from the border range that was from a treaty in the United, I believe a treaty or some kind of arrangement, and they just, they took the land, and now they're saying, no, we cannot give this land back because we have people living there, and it's a, it's un, it, it, it's undefensible. You know, it's undefensible because you've created an environment which creates an undefensible environment. Now let's just go with the fact that they say, okay, we're gonna, we we don't want to give back all this land. Then there's gonna be, they want swaps, mutual agreeable swaps. So let's go ahead and do the swaps and say, okay, this line that we had doesn't work for us because we've been building across this line and so forth for years. So because we've been doing that, you can't just have that land. And and then. Ugh, if we're going to swap. One, we've got settlements, like, deep into your terrain. We could possibly say, okay, let's bring these people. But these ones are close by, no. So we're going to have to make this border closer. We're going to encroach on your border even more. Um, and, and as part of that, we're going to have this huge wall in there because this wall has to stop you from coming over and being this horrible nation. Which is not yet a nation. It's just a people that are oppressed. And then... What I find amusing, again, even more so, is what happened in the in the U.S. Senate and how, or was it Congress, I'm not exactly sure, um, but uh, Mr. Yahoo went in there and he did a speech and had so many standing, ob um, uh, standing ovations for what he said. And half the stuff he said was just, what he got his ovations for was just ridiculous. Uh, some of it, I could go, oh, yeah, yeah, so bad. He's, he's a good speaker. He speaks American. So... They all love him for that. And then on top of that, he's... Oh, it's just, it's just amazing how American politicians pander to this, this guy, this, this nation, this state that's clearly, clearly in violation of so many things, yet the world let them away with it. I'm not for... that. I'm not even using religion here. I'm, I'm getting away from the religion debacle. I'm just talking about oppression of people in general. If you get rid of the religion side and just, just go, hey, there's a country there now, so be it, and these other people want to have uh, a set, their own separate identity, so be it, so let's make this happen. Instead, there's stepping blocks and stepping blocks, and what is the point of those stepping blocks? You can go deep into it and just see that they just, they just either they're just hungry for this power and just wanting to control these people, or they're absolutely scared of losing what they have. 
which is probably exactly what it is in the long run. But they have what they have, and they've been protected by these other people, the United States, which, as you can see, are just worshipping, you know? And Israel comes along with their big stiff and says, America, this is you. Mm. Yeah, that's, that seems to be what's happening here, and which just am amazes me. What, I, I watched the real news the other day, and what really got me was the protest that they showed. It's the only station that's shown decent protest against what was happening in this uh, APEC conference that was happening in America. And what was the best part was they had these Orthodox Jews. I'm going into the religious side here. And they had these Orthodox Jews, you know, the curly hair, proper hats, you know, all that kind of stuff. And um, they... These Orthodox Jews who live in New York, I believe, or in the eastern side of uh, the states, they they were absolutely against what Israel is doing, and they were actually not actually absolutely for Israel as such either. So, not all Jewish people want what the state is doing, because they can clearly see what is happening is not based on the faith of which is what most religions are supposedly about this peace and I I was pleased to see this group the Orthodox Jews counter-attack what was happening yet it's not going to do anything sadly corrupt politician because as soon as you bring in a lobbyist group and money comes involved Things don't happen the way the democratic process is meant to happen. And this is probably the biggest example. The lobbyist group of the Israel, the APEC membership lobby group. And, you know, the wealthy business people probably give money to this group. And then they go out and they find the politicians and say, Hey, we want this to happen. So here's some money and make it happen. And then they, they're bought. Politicians are bought. In New Zealand, two examples. I don't... I literally don't see a lobbyist group in New Zealand as such. If you are from New Zealand and you can point out a lobbyist group, please do so, because I don't really necessarily know any myself. So either I'm ignorant, and I am in points, so I'd love to actually see that. And two, the second thing was the fact that they had a, uh, a US polit um, an Israeli uh, foreign head speaking in the, in, the, in the House of Representatives. And in New Zealand, I remember they had um, the Australian woman, Gillard, come over and the Green Party put up a protest saying, no, we're not going to have a foreign leader speaking in the House because it's, it's not right, because it's never been done before. So it's, I don't know, it, it, it's nice to see that they, they stood up and said, no, it's not going to happen because they have no right in our affairs to be talking to within a nation. That's your own separate thing. I love my international politics, but there is so much international politics that is just so wrong. And even if I wanted to get into so-called international politics in the future, if that was something I desired, I'm not down the line to get into anything that was either possibly diplomatic. I could never go and be a diplomat in another country because of the line that I take. I'd never be in the process of representing a mainstream to be able to represent the mainstream as such because I'm not that so you've got to be down the line or toe the line to make sure that you can actually be part of the process that'll do me I've rambled on enough got that out of my system Ugh. remember building seven see ya spinny spin 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 spin